Hey, I'm Amy Hood and this is Hoodspa. And today we are talking about pattern brushes in Illustrator. First things first, we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator and I want to make a rope pattern brush. I want to make like a cool like Wranglers style pattern brush that I can run alongside my path so I can create some cool funky type. So first thing I've done here is with my pen tool, I drew the first twine twirl of rope and I'm going to make this repeating pattern first by just shift option dragging to the right. And then if you click Command D, it'll perfectly repeat that action. So you can see I've got this nice repeating pattern here. So I'm going to select my left hand shape. And when I select it with my black arrow, it shows my bounding box. And then I can pull my ruler guides from the ruler by clicking on the ruler and dragging in. And I'm just gonna select some guides so I can see the perfect center of each of these shapes. So I'm gonna pull that ruler guide to the perfect center of this shape on the right as well. Now I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. So if I click and hold that ellipse tool, I can see my rectangle shape and I'm going to draw it along my two guidelines that I just drew. And I can fill that in with red so I can see it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that by going Command C and then go Command F to paste in place. And I'm just going to shift select my first twine twirl and this box and I'm gonna use my Pathfinder tool to Pathfinder out just the intersecting shapes. I'm gonna do that again on the right hand side and I'm going to select everything by making a rectangle around all the shapes and turning it black up here. So if you can see, if I select all of these things and I option drag them to the right, it's a perfect repeating pattern. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all of those pieces I just made and I'm going to go up to my toolbar and I'm gonna select this brush definition drop down arrow. I'm gonna select the plus sign that says new brush and then I'm going to select the very bottom one called pattern brush. Click OK. And you can see it opens up this dialog box and I can set the name of my pattern brush. It's gonna be rope brush. And then I'm going to select the corner. So it's the outer corner tile is this first one. Let's select auto between, cause I want it to be kind of rounded. I don't want it to have a sharp point. I'm gonna select the inner corner and I'm gonna make that also auto between. And then I'm just gonna click okay. So now let's test this out. Let's get our pencil tool and let's draw some loopy shapes. Let's do a California C and A and see how this turns out. Just doing something quick. So you're gonna select those paths you just drew, select your brush. Ooh, that's looking good. You can even apply it to, like if you drew a circle, if you wanted to do an enclosing shape, any path you can apply it to. So I'm just drawing a circle and it's so quick, so easy. And that's it, it's that easy. 